Hi, this is Corey Gwen here with uh, Meraki. Uh, I'm an API product architect, and today I'm going to talk to you uh, a little bit about how you can send Meraki network alerts into Datadog and capture those as events. So if you're not aware, uh, the Meraki solution is a full stack cloud platform enabling you to manage all of your network devices, including things like switches, access points, and routers, um, all the way up to uh, IoT and security devices like cameras or sensors. Um, all of this can be managed through our Cloud Web inter interface, uh, but you can also use the API and webhooks to programmatically interact with the cloud platform. Uh, one of the primary ways you will uh, monitor and configure configure uh, your Meraki dashboard um, is through this web interface that acts as a single pane of glass, uh, where again you can manage the access points, switches, etc. Um, it provides a really simple to use uh, GUI interface, um, giving you just a, a real high level of how your network is performing, as well as giving you the ability to drill down and make changes and configurations um, as necessary. Um, now with that, if there is anything that goes wrong with this network, uh, if a device were to go offline, um, you would want to receive an alert for that as opposed to logging into this dashboard to see the changes. Um, and so with that, um, Meraki enables you to configure a number of alerts for different products and services uh, that are triggered when a certain threshold is met. Um, now these alerts can be sent via email or a SMS text message, uh, but you can also send them uh, with a webhook. Now a webhook is essentially a, an API call that Meraki makes to a third party service. So in this case, uh, we'll be able to use a Datadog uh, webhook that we will set up in order for us to send these alerts um, to that system. So in order for us to do this, we actually take advantage of the Datadog API. Uh, so for us to do that, uh, we will log into our Datadog account. Uh, we'll create an API key, uh, which we'll use to authenticate to this uh, API operation. And then we're going to send an event uh, to the events API. Now, there's a number of uh, required properties that you need to send, as well as a couple of optional ones uh, for additional uh, information that you want to send. Uh, now, one of the cool things about this is that the text parameter supports the ability to write markdown, uh, which is a nice way of formatting the data um, and giving it some more style than just uh, plain text. So with that, um, Meraki has just introduced a new method uh, or a mechanism that allows you to um, create a webhook that fits the shape and requirements of a third-party API service. So in this case, we'll use that Datadog API uh, for the events operation, and we will format our webhook data to fit um, that expected JSON shape, as well as include our authentication headers into that. Um, now with the Meraki dashboard, you have the option of testing a number of different potential alerts that you could receive. And that way uh, you can test um, the different behavior and you can see if certain flags are being sent, like if it's an error or if it's an informational or warning type of alert, uh, you can make sure that your, uh, your template is working as expected. Now this template is open source, so it's available on the Meraki GitHub repository, um, as well as our Meraki documentation. Um, you can find the details of this template. And so once that template is configured and assigned to a webhook uh, and alert, um, you can now start to see these events um, being uh, sent to Datadog. Um, and uh, they will follow the formatting that you specified in that template. Uh, in this example, we can see our different, um, our organization, our network, and our device tree, um, as well as we can see that this event was a power supply went down, um, the source being Meraki, um, as well as uh, the logos included here. Um, and this uh, particular event, uh, the, the second power supply, um, would have went down for this device.
So um, that's essentially how easy it is to connect a Meraki network uh, to a Datadog um, uh, environment where you can now consume these alerts and create events that you can track and manage um, as you need. And so if you would like to learn more about that, I uh, would encourage you to go to our developer hub, meraki.io, and the webhooks section is going to cover all the details that you can set up um, networks to send um, these alerts to your Datadog environment. Um, and with that, uh, we'll pop over to a demo just so you can see how it all works. So here we are in the Meraki dashboard where we're taking a look at um, this uh, network here. And what we're wanting to do is set up our alerts so that we can send them to Datadog. So as I explained earlier, um, there are a number of alerts that you can configure and assign um, based on uh, you know, certain thresholds. Uh, well, in this case, we want to send all of our alerts um, to Datadog. So I've set up a webhook receiver, and I've named it Datadog EU. And I put in the required URL for the Datadog's API, as well as I've entered in my API key within the shared secret. Now, the magic here is that there is now this Datadog template, this Datadog EU one that I've set up. Now, how this works, again, is if we were to um, look at our various templates, and if I click on maybe this Datadog template here, we can see that there are a number of uh, lines of code here. But essentially what it's doing is it's mapping some of our um, alert level um, categories to match what Datadog is expecting as well as there's a section here to define some markdown content of how we want it to look. And then ultimately, we're putting all of this into a JSON object that the events API is expecting. And so if we were to render this, we're going to see that all of this really boils down to power supply went down, and then it adds the markdown string inside of here. And adds Meraki as a source type so that we can get um, the Cisco Meraki logo as well as the source information and our mapping um, as far as the alert type or alert level. If we were to test with different um, alerts, you can see that they will automatically update and it would have included additional information. Now, um, once these alerts have been set up, um, we could test them here or I could go back and um, actually, let's go back to alerts. And we can go all the way down, back down to Datadog. And if we were to hit send test webhook, it's going to use this template that we've just defined. It's going to send it to this URL, including the shared secret. It says it was delivered. So we can pop over to our events over here. And we're going to see a series of events as they come in. And so uh, we can refresh. But as that one is coming in, we can also see that there were previous events, such as like motion detected. Um, what's neat about this one is it actually includes a snapshot uh, that the Meraki camera was able to take. It sent a webhook, included the URL. And with the markdown, it was able to render that image so that you can see um, what happened with this snapshot. So it's a pretty cool solution. And it's really easy to set up. Um, to easily capture your Meraki events uh, or alerts, uh, as well as uh, uh, power supply went down events uh, as they come in. And um, that's really all there is to it. Um, if you'd like to learn more about how to set up this template, uh, again, if you go over to the Meraki Developer Hub, you can go to meraki.io and find it that way. Uh, you'll see under webhook integrations, the Datadog uh, integration is here, um, where we list the API documentation, um, the specific API HTTP URL that you'll need based on your region, and instructions how you can obtain your API key. And once you have all of those requirements, then you can simply copy and paste this template into uh, your Meraki network. 
as well as um, ensure you've set up your headers properly um, so that the authentication works. And with that, you'll have a end-to-end -end Meraki plus Datadog integration. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, thank you for your time.